Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to a new edition of Art Chat with John and Bogdan. Good morning. We have morning. a lot of news to share with you today and a lot of art as well. Yes, welcome Before everybody. Before we starting, mm -hmm. you want to do the um, housekeeping? Housekeeping, you bet. Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, as you probably know that you're watching this on uh, Facebook Live, we are broadcasting via Zoom, so there is a delay. Please know that there's a delay between the, what we say and, and what we see on the uh, on the comments and things. So uh, please, please understand that. We're not ignoring you. And secondly, everything uh, that we're showing you today on Art Chat is for sale. That's the reason we do this, is so that Bogdan and I have a way of, of talking about the art that we have available. If you do fall in love with a piece, that's great. We can get it to you wherever you are in the world. So welcome. And um, saying that, we received a, a package from Romania uh, very safely, and mm -hmm. uh, there's not a problem shipping, guys. No, it doesn't anywhere. seem to be. Um, I was a little nervous about my last uh, shipping from Romania, and I, I was so surprised that actually made it so so well. But let's uh, switch to the presentation and let's continue with our show this morning, guys. The very first two pieces uh, we want to share with you uh, is this one uh, of mine on the left called "Tagged," and John is an. Uh, a year old now on Banca Margarita. Can you imagine? It's been a year. It seems like it's been eight years, eight but years. Uh, just with everything that's happened. But Banca Margarita was just last summer. So let's talk about Tagged. Uh, that is a new piece I photographed for a while in Bucharest. You guys, I, I'm, I'm very attracted of these, these decay pieces, uh, urban decay pieces, I should say. Uh, they, they hold a lot of mystery, a lot of um, stories, and uh, I, I find them very attractive. So uh, while uh, walking around Bucharest, I, I found this gate, which, uh, you know, it's filled of cables and graffiti and it tells a lot of story mm -hmm. you know you can actually looking at the cable it tells you how many generations of communications have been yes yeah <laughs> but uh, uh, this is how um, bucharest most of downtown look like yeah it's all um, in re needed repairing if you ask me mm -hmm. and everything it's covered by graffiti which i don't find graffiti very bad except when it's not organized however right. it added a little structural a little story to this piece so uh, i decided to to print it and to to give it a life yeah the colors are amazing and and some of the artwork is amazing i thought it was really fascinating tell the story about how one of the tags you actually know the guy who made yeah, it and yeah. how that story happened. So there is a, uh, it's a one tag uh, called uh, in Romanian Privește Cerul or Look at the Sky or Watch the Sky, whatever you want to translate that. It, it's a very positive um, tag and it, uh, I, as far as I understood it, born out of uh, a protest mm -hmm. when people got in the streets and this is kind of a very positive, you know, when 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 problems uh are uh taking over you just look at the sky and and breathe that's the message basically that i interpret but, but the point is the point you is, actually knew him yes uh talking with my friend brianna which you, i talk about many times brianna karaja um she said you actually know the guy and i said do i i said yes um when you used to come at our house uh, when the kids were when the boys were kids um, this guy was there uh, he's part of their group and it i brought to him on instagram and they, he remembers me i don't remember him because he grew up he so was fast. such a kid yeah but it was uh, an interesting uh, conversation and how how strange that that these two bits of art kind of collide like that and that the, the world is small enough that you actually knew the guy. Now, I do want to point out, Frank has, has mentioned that the girl on the door looks like Princess Leia, but she has like an eye patch. So she's Princess Leia pirate, I assume. Uh, but uh, good observation. It yes, does look that, a little bit. Does She does actually. Like she it. has a <laughs> croissant on her head. But anyway, the, the picture is uh, 
printed on a limited edition of 50 in. I have one printed and framed in the studio. I can't. They're bring, stunning. Yeah, They're really beautiful. I can't just bring it right here uh, now because it's hanging on the wall and it's like 30 by 40 inside, which is kind of uh, huge and quite heavy. And um, guys, it's available. If you like it, come in the studio here at Silver Sea Studios 111 and take a look at it. It's magnificent. And it was all part of a kind of a learning process too. He took the photos when we were in Romania, he had them printed in Romania, and then we shipped them home. And uh, they're fa they're fabulous. Yes. It was a really seamless process. I was afraid I'm not going to receive the package in good condition because you know you ship uh, actually a piece of paper, and uh, anything can happen with it. The right. weather can get into it, and but everything was safe and lovely. Yeah. Now, moving forward to your next piece. Ah, my determination, my Punk Amarga. I still have, what, seven pieces of Punk Amarga that I uh, haven't sold from last mm -hmm. year. And I, again, I cannot believe it's only been a year. Uh, but uh, uh, so, yeah, I, I still have a few left. The whole idea of this is that I'm doing 20 paintings every five years for the next 20 years. And uh, all to a uh, to a a kind of philosophy, a Buddhist tradition called uh, Banka Marga, meaning five roads. Mm -hmm. And so this is from the first installation of that. The next will be in uh, 2025. And the uh, this particular one, I think, is lovely. It's a, a 16 by 20. It's not large, uh, but do you have it? Idea? I do. Can the whole show, show the us. whole point of this installation uh was called the path of illumination uh, path of accumulation and the idea is that everything that has gone into my life all the things i've learned all the things i've, I've all the mistakes all the successes uh bring me to where i am today and so there's lots and lots of busyness in these uh but the colors i think are lovely there's uh my sacred circles which turn up in a lot my dots and guess what guys and it's... these these particular rectangles i see as my footprints that i'm walking through this meditation that i'm looking down at the painting and at, at the reflection that i'm doing uh, so anyway i think it's lovely and and there's still some available in this and it's series. wrapped <laughs> this one's got and my, it's ready my new go. corners on <laughs> Because they get uh, beat up in the shop if you're not and careful. Before we go in uh, further, we want to say uh, good morning to Jerry Guarino. Jenny's uh, here. Hi, Jenny. I don't Jenny. know if she's here or if she's in Italy right now. Or she she's could be in anywhere in the Ireland. world. Ireland. Uh, she is traveling or all over. And she is a uh, Jenny is an artist here at Silver Street Studios. She has a, a studio here and she does beautiful artwork. And you guys need to need come to and check, her, check out. her out. Absolutely. But what else? There's a lot of things. We will be open this Saturday. Did you show more of my work? Did I? Did you show all the No, oh, the, the, the mock-up? The mock-ups, just to give you an idea of the size and and, uh, and how the piece looks. It's lovely and they're yeah. framed and just a few more to go before I'm sold out. And it's really, even if it's small, it, it fits up in various spaces and it it brings the eyes together. Look how beautiful that is. In, yeah, I think in, in any of these settings. really pops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Either gray or green walls. Wow. I think Frank and Tommy have one. They do. And uh, what they need to do, I guess, it's Frank. Are you there? You need to paint your wall on green now. You have to, yeah, to match my painting. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, Silver Sea Studios, we are open this weekend as well this saturday actually mm -hmm. and uh, come and visit us we will be here around 11 o'clock all the way to Night. five o'clock well yeah <laughs> but yeah uh, what actually happened guys, happens guys uh, we have uh, a photo fest coming into town uh, this year and um, it starts on september 24 with a big opening ceremony here at silver steel studio starting at don't know when it starts oh uh, actually i have it here uh, at 8, 8, 8, 8 to 11. This is a big party. You guys should you guys should attend. Uh, it's free. You have to have a little ticket because I think they want to track numbers. But they get like 3,000 people who show up to this event. And uh, they, they had it last two years ago, right as COVID was closing things down. In fact, they had to close down early. 
But these parties, uh, this inaugural party, it's a big deal. A beautiful exhibition that I think we're going to get to uh, has been put up in Silver Street, but there's also in some other buildings as well. Mm -hmm. But the big party is here at Silver Street this Saturday night, so you should come. You know, I thought I shared the screen, but I didn't. Whoops. So uh, do, here we go. Um, the exhibition is, uh, the exhibitions are all up mm -hmm. and um, stunning. They, they cover um, Silver Street Studios, Winter Street Studios, the Silo Studios, and Spring Street Studios, all with photo fest exhibitions. They are beautiful and it's, it's worth seeing. And you can check online. There are also uh, installations all across the city in different galleries and different uh, venues. Uh, so big, it's a big deal, a big international event, the largest photographic event in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, we're lucky enough to have it here every two years. And um, with this event, uh, there will be a lot of curators, a lot of uh, gallerists, a lot of uh, private collectors coming and um, do a portfolio review. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what that means, they are meeting with uh, artists and they are looking at their portfolio. Uh, some may be interested in their collection. They may sign a contract to be part of a gallery. Some may buy uh, directly from the artist various pieces. And there's a lot of uh, um, deals going on there. Mm -hmm. But um, I will be in this portfolio review as well this year. And that will be the first week of it. And what happens in Monday uh, evening from 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, in the same venue, Whitehall Hotel downtown, is going to be uh, this portfolio walk, uh, which is called Unfiltered. Mm -hmm. What happens is all the artists that sign up for portfolio reviews that week will have the chance to uh, uh, put on the table everything they, they want, uh, Photo photography to talking um, for the uh, general public to view, to buy, to review, meet the to artists, meet the artists mm -hmm. to make the connections. So it, that, it's that's, really it's really cool. Yes, it's a very very uh, a nice. Uh, if you are into the art and into, and into photography, it's the an excellent um, time to attend uh, uh, and to collect. Uh, some uh, photographic art yeah you get to see a bunch of people all at once all in one room and you get to see a variety of people so uh, you get to see what's new what people are working on what they're most proud of what they have for sale and it's a really good way to get kind of a sense of what's going on photographically in the in the world mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's a great opportunity it's great for the artists uh, to get to show off their work uh, because they've come all from all over the world to present to these uh, curators and to these uh, portfolio reviewers. But this gives them a chance to share it with the public uh, who are interested in photography. So it's a great event. You should come to that too. So get out your calendar. We will and start uh, signing up for these things. Uh, we will send uh, uh, to our friends an email uh, reminder just to, to know where the things are and when it happens. What else is new? You've been busy too, right? My gosh, we've been so busy, it's it's hard to imagine. I'm working with this. Oh, yes, that uh, this is a uh, two pieces I just created uh, this last week. And uh, they are a nice size. They're what? 30, 24 by 36. 24 by 36. Uh, and I did match and pair. They're a good inch and a half thick. So they're, Are they ready? They're ready. They're ready to go. I haven't signed the bottoms, but uh, I, I'll do that. Um, they uh, they harken back to the to the large piece I did for uh, Panca Marga. A lot of people look at that; they're interested in the concept of that painting, but don't want to fork out the uh, the expense because it's really a big painting. Uh, so I did something to kind of harken back to that. But I think they I think they're lovely. Yeah, I think they're lovely, and I, I see them in a kind of a gold antique, uh, yep. deep shadow. How do you call that? Uh, floating. Uh, frame. Oh, they don't even need a frame because they're they're gallery wrapped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm um, keeping keep working on this Urbana series that I brought from Romania this time. And this one on the left, it's actually a mock-up, a make. Uh, how do you call it? A, a mesh, if you want. Uh, yeah, a 3D, uh -huh. a 3D in a way, um, a photograph 
and uh, you can't see that that dimensional uh, because once you photograph a dimensional thing it's back to 2d isn't it a three-dimensional yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and the other one it's another another gate another uh, door from bucharest and this is actually the uh, look at the sky uh, the blue paragraph words. on the on top of the door it's it's a um i i wanted to keep that in the picture because um it's so actual and it's part of the streets of bucharest what happens there you know Mm -hmm. they're lovely guys uh, we are working on uh, the next um, vlog these days and uh, it should be up on uh, saturday or sunday this weekend we'll have it up and uh, there'll be a continue of romania's journey as well as uh, news from houston and it's middle of the show and uh, we want to thank you for being here today and uh, thank you for all your support supporting us uh, collecting our work and uh, be part of our life listening to us grab it on (laughs) (laughs) no which we we obviously couldn't do it without you uh that's this is what makes our art business thrive so thank you guys so much for your support and uh you mean the world to us all right second part of the show is the most exciting one i Yay. just i just happened to brand spanking new yeah listen to this uh the carousel i was just like so surprised to see it the other day and yours is uh, memories of summer mm-hmm. it's kind of right in time because the summer is about over now uh the other day i was cleaning the studio getting ready for a new um a showing here in the studio hanging more photography and while I was digging in this pile of uh, images, I found this carousel. Throwing you know away, I was like, "This is such a beautiful picture." And with it, I have others with just the slides and so on. And I thought it was an interesting vintage uh, repurpose uh, uh, object in a photography. So this is how carousel was born. And I think it's it's very that lovely. Gabby, hi, hi. Gabby. <laughs> and, Welcome. Uh, this is Carousel, guys, and it's a. I think it's a very fascinating uh, picture in a way. This old technology is amazing. I, I mean, I remember buying this carousel and, and doing slideshows, and, and we thought this was the cutting edge. We would do carousels of slides to music. Wow, multimedia! It was great. No, I think they are they are so visually interesting, mm-hmm. uh, and and because you're showing them in a way we've not seen them before, right? I mean, most well, people just see them in a box, and it's <laughs> and, and it's, it's it, it creates that uh, curiosity. Right, what is that, and you want to come closer and to analyze, and then you realize what it is. Like, how cool is that? You know, actually. And we people have pointed out when you've gone to these uh, portfolio reviews that Bogdan's photographic work tends to have a nostalgic quality to it. There's always something nostalgic uh, involved. And I think that's what makes it interesting to him. And there, that, therefore it becomes interesting to us as well because we share the same history. You know, actually I have it here. It's, it's really, it's in a plastic really bag lovely. To, to protect it. But, I think uh, you should do a whole series like this. You know, I have a whole series. I mm-hmm. have never printed any of them because I haven't had the chance. But or... you did, did you have them with this background? No, this is paper. It's actually two pieces of paper on the back. Magnificent. Uh, red and uh, orange. And uh, the whole series, I mean, because I photograph all, all kinds, everything that I, I found in, uh, in, in the boxes. boxes. from. I Mom like, and oh, from gonna, Grandma gonna, and from I'm me. I use this for a project, so this is how I started with a carousel and the slides and and so on, old magazines, mm-hmm. corners, and uh, but I never had the chance to to print them. It's like, uh, but they're there when I'm ready, you know. Let's see. Memories uh, of summer. Memories of summer. This is a piece on paper. Uh, it is. Uh, it's all acrylic. I, no, I guess it's mixed media. We'll see. No, this definitely mixed media. Sorry. Uh, it is a 24 by 18 inches on paper. I had just a ball with it. I'm taking the same concepts that I am trying to do on canvas 
and it just is different on paper. Mm -hmm. the, the paint responds differently. This one is very matte. Um, I love the colors, the movement. I've got my circles, I've got my dots, um, all the things that, that to me, uh, symbolize the kinds of uh, symbols I like to use. But I'm also using a lot of colored pencils and, and ink as well. So it is a, it is a mixed media piece. Um, I think it's just an explosion of color. It reminds me of all those, those hot days, those mm -hmm. energetic, the flowers blooming, the activities of summer. Um, and uh, there's two in the series. This one is the um, Memories of Summer. I've got it here just so you can get a better sense of the side. It's in a plastic bag, which makes it look really glossy, but it isn't. It's fairly matte. Uh, try and get the light right. Yeah, it's quite large. And it's a good size. Once, once you add a little border or a little uh, frame to it, it's, it's even larger. And, and the way you frame it can change the, the production of the uh, representation of it completely. Uh, it just depends if you want to give it lots of mat. If you don't, uh, it's, it's a nice piece. And I think it would be uh, a, a good addition to most collections. What else is new? Well, you noticed my, I've got my USO cup today. Oh, that's right. Uh, we are, well, we're members of uh, the uh, Houston Inner Loop Photography Club, which is the HIP club. And uh, it's a photography club we've been members of for many years now. Yeah. It's really surprising. I, th I think we, we seem like we're the newcomers, but we've been there for eight, eight for nine ages. years. Uh, and every year in November, mm -hmm. we are going, a part of the group are going to uh, uh, Fort Hood for the military base. And uh, they, we are actually doing uh, a photography for the uh, army families for free. It's a uh, volunteer project. And we are there for about three days and three nights. And, and, and they'll shoot like four or five hundred families we in are that time. working uh, without break. Uh, some uh, members are just taking photographs and various rooms. Uh, we have mobile studios all we put them together in each room in Fort Hood. And um, there is another team doing the retouching and photoshopping uh, every every single pictures. And uh, I think we are delivering everything in a within a week. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, it, it's pretty instantaneous, and and it's such a lovely. Thing to do. Uh, it's great for the photographers because we get the uh, the chance to to shoot in a professional environment with heavy heavy loads of people. You have to move fast. You learn about how to light people, how to arrange people, how to set them up, uh, staging. How to talk with babies. How, how to, to talk deal with, with dogs. People and their animals and and the kids who don't want to be there. Kids who are afraid. And let's face it, the enlisted uh, army folks uh, generally do not make much money uh, and they are either living on base or off base but they are welcome to come there and get free photographs of them and their families and for many of them they've never had professional photographs taken of them and their families before and so a lot of them are quite emotional other times the the service person is deployed and so maybe they're seeing their kid for the first time, or maybe they're seeing uh, uh, a spouse that they haven't seen in a while. Uh, and it's it's just a very good feeling. It's a very, very important thing that the club does and uh, can't support it enough. So uh, it is it is hosted by the USO at Fort Hood. Uh, did they change the name of Fort Hood? They may uh, have changed yes, the name. It's did. maybe called something different now, uh, just recently. But uh, really, really proud of you guys for, for going and doing that. It's, it's an exhausting event. But, but uh, it's very rewarding and you don't even feel it. Uh, uh, there are some moments uh, at the end of the day where your body said you are about to crash. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's not only physical work, but it's, it's a lot of emotional work. Right, because you, you have, have to be to on. And you have to work with everybody and everybody has different personality and everybody is different. Yeah. And you have to talk with everybody's language, basically. And again, a lot of people who don't have their pictures taken very often. And so they don't understand the process and they 
they have their two cents. They want to. They want it to be as good as possible. They they wear matching sweaters and. But that's November, and we'll share. Uh, we'll share more about this trip uh, back uh, when it's going to happen. Excellent. Yeah. If you if you are a photographer and would like to join, it would be a great time because it's uh, they could use the help. So guys, this is pretty much what we had for you today. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next week. Absolutely. Have a great week. Stay creative and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.